The most recent and also well-known mass extinction event happened 66 million years ago and ended the era of dinosaurs. But in total there were five of these catastrophic mass extinctions in the history of planet Earth. Before starting off with the first ever major ecological crisis, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel for free and like this video. It will help a lot. It is well known that life developed in aquatic environments first. This is why the vast majority of species was found in marine ecosystems in the Ordovician. The first mass extinction event occurred in the end Ordovician 440 million years ago and must have happened in two pulses. Since most of the creatures were marine organisms, this catastrophic event resulted in the disappearance of 85% of marine species. The cause of this disaster was probably a global cooling period. There is strong evidence that the supercontinent Gondwana drifted towards the South Pole. This probably resulted in a temperature drop of 8 degrees Celsius and caused growth of continental ice sheets leading to massive glaciation. The consequence was a seawater level drop. The second major ecological crisis occurred in the late Devonian, 371 million years ago. This period was exceptionally famous for the large armored jawed fish such as Dunkleosteus. This genus however went extinct in the late Devonian. It is unclear what caused this ecological crisis, but it is known that around 80% of species went extinct. Corals were hit especially hard, which led to a significant dying of coral reefs in the ocean. The third mass extinction event was the most severe of all five. The end Permian extinction occurred around 250 million years ago. An estimated 90% of all marine species went extinct during it. And for the first time also terrestrial families were severely affected. Therefore, the third mass extinction event in the end Permian is widely known as the Great Dying. What caused this gigantic loss of organisms is still debated. It may have been meteorites or methane, but one of the most accepted theories is that the Great Dying could have been initiated by volcanic eruptions. Even though this puzzle is not entirely solved yet, we know that the era of a multitude of marine organisms ended here. Trilobites went extinct. The remarkable sea scorpions were eradicated, but terrestrial organisms were also massively affected, even insects. It has been suggested that around 70% of all terrestrial species disappeared. Life was literally on the edge. The fourth great extinction event occurred in the era of dinosaurs and defined the so-called Triassic-Jurassic boundary. In the Middle Triassic, the coral reefs had finally recovered. During that time, the marine environments were dominated by ichthyosaurs, an ancient group of large marine reptiles. 201 million years ago, the fourth great mass extinction event led to the disappearance of 75% of the species at that time. There is much evidence that the incident was caused by massive volcanic eruptions once again. The consequence must have been a global warming period and quadrupled carbon dioxide levels that led to ocean acidification. Therefore, oceanic life was hit particularly hard. The last big mass extinction event is infamous as the end of the era of dinosaurs, 66 million years ago. At the end of the Cretaceous, a massive asteroid with a diameter of around 10 to 12 kilometers hit Earth. A crater, almost 200 km wide, located in today's northern Mexico is proof of the impact. Even though the asteroid impact is the favored and well accepted theory in science, as most of these drastic extinction events, it is likely that a combination of many devastating factors contributed to this catastrophic event. Around 75% of species were extinguished 66 million years ago, among them most dinosaurs. The lineage of the birds, however, as the living descendants of the dinosaurs did survive until today. If you are interested whether it is possible to bring back extinct species such as Jurassic Park did with the dinosaurs, I recommend you to watch this video here. It dives into the scientific accuracy of Jurassic Park and it also elaborates on current de-extinction plans. If this video was exciting and fruitful, I would be happy if you subscribe to the channel. 
follow me on Twitter and leave a like to support the work. Bye.